The Future of Australia by Mary Hannah Fu. Sing us the land of the south and seed, the land we have called our own. Tell us what harvest there shall be from the seed that we have sown. We laugh the legend of olden days, the songs of a wind and wave, and border ballads and minstrel lace and the poems Shakespeare gave. The fireside carules and bedrooms and remount of a nightly ring, and the chant the fint of cathedral chimes of her maid blind to sing. The tears they tell of our brethren wept, their praises our father's fame. They sing of the sea so our native sweat, of our shrines that lend us flame. But the past is past, with all its pride, and its ways are not our ways. We watch the flow of a fresher tide, and the dawn of newer days. Sing us the isle of the south and sea, the land we have called our own. Tell us what house there shall be from the seeds which we have sown. I see the child we are tending now to a queenly stature grown. The jewels of empire on her brow and the purple round the throne. She feeds the house so plenteously for the granaries we have filled. Her vintage is gathered in with glee from the fields our toil is tilled. The old world's outcast starvelings feast ungrudged on a corn and wine. The gleaners are welcome from west and east where her autumn sickle shine. She clothes the people in silk and wool whose warp and whose woof is spun. And sons and daughters are hers to rule and of slaves she has not one. There are herds of hers on a thousand hills, where fleecy flocks untold. Now foreign conquest the copper fills, she has streams whose sands are gold. She shall not scramble for fallen crowns, nor left a soul shall toil. So rich in rivers, so dowered with downs, she shall have no need of spoil. But if wronged and menaced, she shall stand where the battle surges swell, be a sword of heaven and a swarthy hand, like a sword of La Puchelle. If there be ever so base a foe as to speak of a time clean stain, to say she was cranial long ago, with clank of a convict's chain. Ask as the taunt in his teeth is hurled, what line it sprang she from, who was empress once of a pagan world and the queen of Christendom. And the toilsome years of her youth are o'er, when her children round to throng, and shall learn from her of a sage law, and her lips shall teach from song. Then her foes in the dust to drill, may their kindly mention be, when the birds would build in the branches tell of a planting of a tree.